everybody, this is Ashita100 here on PRT Productions channel, and we're back to episode something of Undertale. Last Not time we battled Papyrus. Sadly. <laughs> this time, we're going to go back to Snowden. And see Papyrus once again, in this area with creepy area with no music. There we go, that's better. I'm going to go to, I'm going to use these underground tunnels to go back to the safe point and heal. And possibly get some more items. What am I doing on items? Down to three bicycles. And after... It's twice the price, are you joking? Right, let's go on a date with Papyrus. Or hang out, or whatever I would like to call it. Yeah, if you, if you don't hit flirt during the fight, this will still happen, but a, a date will be replaced with hang out. So you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this! I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place where I can spend a lot of my a lot of time. So yeah. well, not the library. Not up there. Grailbees? No, definitely not Grailbees. Yeah. Where are we going? Back to your house. <laughs> my house! Nice house. This is my brother's pet rock! He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have sacred responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> because, it's of course, it is. Uh, so far. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You get 20G. Oh, this is funny. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sand! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. <laughs> you moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. <laughs> and don't bring it back! Okay. <laughs> it's still here! <laughs> Do you need to say you're to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> What's on the telly? Ooh, it's my favourite game show! That changed the me. Stay tuned for a new programme, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! This is just a bad episode! Don't judge me! <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Nice sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. Look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> a book within a book within a book. Welcome to the, to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Uh, what's in the kitchen? That's a trash can. Feel free to visit any time. <laughs> my brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd! I was thinking creme brulee, but it's egg custard. Yeah. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please! Peruse my culinary art show! Half the fridge is filled with containers for like all labels of spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty pack of bag of chips. Okay. Crispy and beans. also, the elephant in the room. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine! It's curses. <laughs> <laughs> Sands! Stop plaguing my life with instant of music! Jesus. That's how it's like plays the trombone. <laughs> so, <I'll> do this. <laughs> do this here, I think. Yeah. I'm not very good at doing it. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do, I wanted to talk to Paris. Well, we being a good host is a real workout. <laughs> uh, let's go check this one. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. <laughs> Apparently. But no. The door is locked. <laughs> right, we've looked at everything in here. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go on, go in and do whatever people do when they date. No! Papyrus! Papyrus! No. Papyrus! Let's not go there, but we have to continue anyway. Go inside, yes. He's a bit too innocent, I think, to get it. Hey! Those are all the attacks I used on you! Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. <laughs> I was gonna say... That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, 
I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun in my skin. <laughs> this is game ridiculous. <laughs> of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Because, of course, you do. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Mm. Sans? Yeah, that's right! Santa! <laughs> so close and yet so far. <laughs> Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. Okay. We'll roll with that. <laughs> Let's roll with it. That book's one of my favourites. Advanced puzzle constructions for critical minds. The next book's also one of my favourites. Peekaboo, a fluffy bunny. <laughs> <laughs> the ending always gets me. <laughs> what? The, the internet. internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. In other words, he has none. <laughs> me, you have minus two. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always going to be bad puns in a goofy font. Well, I uh, can't imagine who that might be. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the door. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Back in the closet? Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh, thank God I can talk noise. That papyrus voice really does my throat in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, something interesting about Sans. I know papyrus is something about papyrus, but something I didn't mean to mention about Sans. Obviously, he talks in Comic Sans, right? Yeah. But when he does his super serious mode, his font changes to Sans Serif. <laughs> it refers to his name. Exactly. And also to, perhaps to an unused character, I think called Grandpa Serif, who I don't know much about. Um, I think it is an unused character. Might have relation to another somewhat, sort of another character who's in and kind of isn't in the game. That we'll talk about later. Anyway, so um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Sure. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. That's a good point. <laughs> point taken. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library! We're ready to have a great time! Let's see... Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. HUD. HUD? HUB? Um... Wowee! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step 2! Step 2. Ask them on a date. Ahem! Human! I, the Great Papyrus! We're gonna date with you! Sure. Really? Wowee! Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you're also wearing clothing. Then what the hell are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> no, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! N no, you're dating power! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! <coughs> I, the Great Papyrus! I've never been beaten at dating and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! <laughs> cool, dude! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Love, Love it. it. <laughs> no! A genuine compliment! <coughs> That's, my throat. That's my throat so much. However! You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit! Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further! Unless you find my secret! But that won't happen! 
Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the, on the other hand, are about the same. Holding my hand till you tell me the answer. No! I must resist! Let's get naughty in here. <laughs> There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Hard this work and determination. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very odd, not safe for work art about the Skelly Bros. I'm leaving us. Because... There's no flesh on them, so there's no there's, sexy things. This is not going so there. So it's just pelvises. This is not going there. <laughs> it's weird. It's so weird. There's no secret to my lair yet. We've seen this. Hard work and determination. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip: all clothing articles can be improved this way. Agreed. I see. I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My hat. I clicked your face. <coughs> but we could go with hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Spaghetti. Do you know what this is? Of course we do. It's spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? The right, but oh so wrong! This ain't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this could go any further! Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflects when he scratches up. The taste is indescribable. <laughs> what a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! A name even more than I do! Ah! Uh, uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that, that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. <laughs> oh my god, Papyrus. Narcissus, ego. My ego is greater than the sun. <laughs> A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? <coughs> my voice is giving up on me. No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being your cool friend! And it acts like all this never happened! After all, you are very great! It would be tragic to lose your friendship! So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you! Because I don't even have lips! <laughs> That's a very good point. Oh, you remember you didn't have lips, you didn't remember you didn't have ears! <laughs> And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me! Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best! <laughs> oh, God. Holy cow. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. <laughs> well, gotta go! For <laughs> <coughs> real, so. Papyrus has something to say in every area when you call him. I'm not gonna do that. Nope. Because I don't have that level of patience. Zero yeah, patience. And I usually have quite good patience. I don't have the level of patience right now because we're recording for only two hours and my voight, my throat is com almost completely shot. Wow! It only took you four seconds to call me! You must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus's hope. Hotful, heartful helpline. Just describe your location, and I will describe some hot tips. 
So, where are you? You're yes. still in my room. <laughs> Have you heard of something called a, a door? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. There's a scale out. And this... I gotta show this one. Ring, ring. You're in my house. Good choice. Though I guess it's technically Santa's house too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is... It's like another world. I wonder if they don't know how to vacuum. I live in this world. Out. This, this, this is the world I live in as well. I don't vacuum very often. Okay. We haven't called the fire tutorial. Should we give that a try? Yeah. No, no it's it. mm. Okay. I think... As the... Oh, I'll do this again. Do this again. No, no, no. Still. I think... Uh, this is the trash can. I shut up. I believe if you call Paris here, you're best staying away from that strange place. <laughs> is he in the trash can? Is he in the trash can? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's one more time. Okay, let's call it here. I want to stop because my voice is killing me. <laughs> so next time on Undertale, we'll be heading into the next main area of the game. See you guys then.